All right, today we're going to learn how to find the area of a polygon uh, using the Shulis method. So let's use a case of this where we have a rhombus and the four coordinates are given as such. So what we will need to do is that we are going to use the um, Shulis formula. So for any area, we're going to have half and we're going to line up all the coordinates that we're going to use and we're going to close it up. So in this case, I'm going to start with A to B to C to D and back to A again. So I'm going to write this at the top here just to uh, help us remember. So A, B, C, D and back to A again. And we're going to write the coordinates in this form, alright? So if the coordinate of A is negative 7 and negative 6, we're going to write it as negative 7 and negative 6. Then B will be 4, negative 4, C is 9, 6, D is negative 2, 4, and back to A again, which is negative 7, negative 6, and we close it up. Now, these are straight lines here. So, it's a, a straight bar. So, this is what we call a modulus. Now, what does this mean? It means that whatever is within this square bracket, we are just going to have to consider the positive case and we don't have to bother about the negative sign in this case here. Alright? Now, what we will have to do is that we have two groups. We can call it the up group and the down group. Alright? So, we can do the up group first. Okay, so we have the half and this is my up group. Okay, I'm going to draw all the arrows here and this will be my up group. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to multiply this two and write it as the first group. So I'm going to have the first bracket here. Negative 6 times 4 will give me negative 24. Negative 4 times 9 will give me negative 36. 6 times 2, sorry, negative 2 will give me negative 12. And 4 times negative 7 will give me negative 28. So actually I'm adding up all the negative numbers. So I'll just write it as a subtraction. So this is the up group. Now, the first group is the up group. I'm going to take the difference with the second group, which is what I call the down group. Okay, so this is the down group. Okay, so what does it mean by the down group? I'm going to take again, multiplying these two, multiplying these two, multiplying these two, and so on. So, negative 7, sorry, negative 7 times negative 4 is going to give me 28. 4 times 6 will give me 24. 9 times 4 will give me 36 and negative 2 times negative 6 will give me 12. So this is my down group and what I'll do is that I'll tally up this group and I'll get it as negative 100. Subtract this second group here is 100. Now, please be careful, it's not going to give you a zero, otherwise there's no area, okay? Negative 100 minus 100 is actually the same as negative 200. Now, it doesn't make sense to have a negative area, isn't it? So actually, with the modular sign, we can just disregard the negative and we just take it as 200. So in this case here, half of 200 is 100 and this is 100 square units and this will be my area.